Hello everybody and welcome to my video today you guys. Last week I did a Facebook Live and I shared with you guys a mini kind of desk tour where I showed you the new Stampin' Up! storage and what I wanted to do today was get out my good camera and turn off the music that was in that video and go ahead and give you a desk tour. So I'm going to give you a tour of from about here to about here and that is where I do all of my creating and filming for cards and stuff. Now at the very, very end of my desk is where I do all my Project Life stuff, and I will share that in a separate video. So over the next couple months, I want to share with you guys little snippets of my office, um, and I will be doing a full tour of my entire office um, here in a couple of weeks, maybe towards the end of May. So just to give you guys a little bit of orientation, I'm standing towards the back of the office here, and this was our garage. So you can see it's long, and that's where I do my work and my office work and stuff, and my albums and things are back there. And then I have a door right over here that goes out to the front of our house. So right here in this corner, and then this desk area is where I do the majority of my creating. It's where I sit to create, and then it's also where I film. So this camera that I'm holding is usually mounted right there. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanna feature the Stampin' Up, the new Stampin' Up storage, and show you guys how my storage ended up working out. On Friday when I shared with you guys, it wasn't quite where I want it to, to be. So over the weekend, I kind of tweaked it a little bit and now I have a really good idea of what I want. So right here, I just have some closet mate cubes. These are not the cubes from Ikea. They're the ones that you can get in Walmart or Target. They're a little bit smaller than the ones that you can find at Ikea. Like these don't hold 12 by 12 albums. I think the squares are like nine by nine or nine and a half by nine and a half. So they're a little bit smaller. So right here on the top part, I have all of my cardstock. So I have my scrap bin right there. I have all my Whisper White, and that's not all of my Whisper White. I also have Whisper White stashed up here because you can never have too much Whisper White cardstock. And then also, you guys, I'm sorry about the lighting if it's a little weird um, where it's kind of stormy here today. And then I have all of my regular cardstock here on the top and I just have these and um like I've just divided them up myself I just use a piece of cardstock um like cardboard and then I've labeled them and that's how I do my cardstock I go through cardstock so much that it doesn't tend to be a problem they're just magazine holders and um, I stick them in there and they are done by color family. So Stampin' Up! has color families. We have four color families and that's how I um, store my cardstock. Right back here are extra packs of cardstock. Sometimes I order too many, sometimes I have a project, sometimes I end up with overflow. And so the, that stuff goes there and then I just rotate it into my stash and sometimes you guys I'm not great about looking to see if I have cardstock packs there and I end up just ordering um, cardstock I know I got to be better about that so the reason I wanted to film today is because I'm getting ready to pull all of my um, stamp sets off this rack here that are retiring so you're seeing this on Tuesday and I'm filming on Monday which would have been yesterday and the retiring list came out so what I'm going to do when I'm done filming um, today is I'm gonna pull all the stamp sets that are retiring off my shelf and put them away and so that's gonna get really bare <laughs> So I usually end up losing 40 or 50 stamp sets and um, I just save them. You guys know I sell them at other points when I'm able to. I just don't keep them. Um, there's a little tiny shelf right here by the door and these are retired stamp sets that I keep. And as soon as that gets filled up, like that's it. That's the only space I have for retired product. So here on my desk right here, um, a couple specs for the desk 
is it's an Ikea top and then these are Alex drawers and then at the very bottom my husband has just lifted those up so that my space is counter height which means my chairs are bo um, bar stool chairs so they're higher down below I just have my 12 by 12 card stock and in this this is a toy chest that was in my son's room that he wasn't using and so that has all my retired product in it and then it's also a place for me to put my feet. And then I have a large trimmer that I use for when I am trimming, cutting um, bulk paper. So if I'm cutting a lot of it. So here's my desk area. I have one of these black mats on here. I got this on Amazon and it is a, let's see, it's 34, I think it's 18. No, 34 by 20, I think, is the size of the mat, and it goes all the way back to my desk. I mean, all the way back to the wall. So one thing that I did is the IKEA tabletops are a little shorter, so I wanted a little bit extra space. So we just put a 2 by 4 back here. You can't barely see it, but there's just a 2 by 4 that runs all the way down my desk and then this shelf kind of covers it and pushes back a little bit and then my mat here covers that up as well and then it gives me a little bit more space because I don't have a ton of space um, here and I really spread out when I'm creating. So on the top here I just have my trimmer and then I have this basket and in this basket I have my Stampin' Scrub, I have my Stamparatus, I have extra plates for my Stamparatus, and then I have my Misty Stamping Tool, and then extra good grid paper that I've stamped on. And then I have my Misty Corners um, that go with my Misty there, and that all stays right up here. I have this little dish that I got. It's a camera. I love cameras. There's lots of cameras here in my office and I got this on a website called Clothed with Truth. It took me a while to locate that. I really had to dig for that but um, I really like having it there and I just put bits and pieces when I'm working on things and then of course I have my iPad and then here I just have my most used tools. So I have snips, a nail file, a, j a black gel pen, a white gel pen, you know, just things that I'm grabbing. My pick tool, scissors, my X-Acto knife, a bone folder, just stuff that I really um, reach for all the time. And then this right here is what I put trash in when I'm working right on my space. And then I also have a little box. Um, so funny, this box is a very old, old diaper box that diapers came in. My kids have been out of diapers forever, but all I did was cover it with pretty paper and then I have a brown paper bag in there and that's where I put all my trash and um, that way it uh, holds a little bit more. So the thing that I'm most excited about is the way the Stampin' Up! storage worked out. So when I ordered all of my pieces, I shorted myself one set of ink pad holders. They come in sets of five. So when I was thinking in my head what I needed, I ended up shorting myself one ink pad holder and then I got one extra set of blend um, holders, okay? So the great thing is, is that on my website, there is a configuration chart and you can print that. Just click on it and print it. And it's gonna help you figure out how many pieces you need based on the ink pads that you have. So I've already ordered another set to go right there and it will go right there, um, it'll be perfect. So it'll be this height when I get that in and the new end colors will go there. So I've already pulled the end colors that are retiring. Um, it's I pull all my retired stuff really early because I'm a demonstrator, I'm getting new stuff, I'll be ordering new stuff in just a little over a week. So the thing that I love about the Stampin' Up! storage is you can get the pieces that you need. So maybe you don't have all the ink pads. You don't have to get all, all the holders. They come in sets of five. And then as you can see, I really love the way that they layer. So right now, I, this is the way I have my blends set up and I already have spots because there's new blends coming out in the annual catalog. So when I put my blend markers in there, I just figured I might as well leave space because I'll get those right away. 
I love that there's different heights to it. I was able to put my watercolor pencils out. I have my glossy accents, my perfect pearls, my um, glitter duster. All of that now fits really well right there. And then right here I have my um, cleaner for my scramp, my scrampin, <laughs> my stampin scrub. So I just have my cleaner right there. And you'll notice right back there, the only re-inker I have out is my gray one because that is for a very specific ink pad. And I'm always afraid that it's for my archival ink pad, which is an older Stampin' Up! ink pad. And I'm terrified I'm going to use it <laughs> in my new ink pad. So I have it set out uh, um, aside for my other reinkers. So for me, when I'm looking at all of my stuff, I want to look at pretty things. So you'll notice that I don't have the stampin, um, the tops. You can get these really cool tops that have like a little lip around them and then you can put things in them and lots of people put their reinkers. I personally don't want to look at my reinkers all the time. So my reinkers are in this bottom drawer and they're just labeled by type. And then I can get them out when I need to re-ink an ink pad. So these ink pads are great. So let me just scoot back a little bit and give you an overview. These, there's two shelves, floating shelves here, and they used to be stacked. So I'll try to put in a photo right here so you can see how they were stacked. And I just had them um, stacked there and then I've had different configurations for the way my ink pads have been. You can check out my website and you'll see the different ways I've had my ink pads in the past. These ink pads are really great because they just stack. So I'm just going to show you that they stack on each other very nicely. And I actually don't mind them stacked because I think they stack so nicely. But I went ahead and got the storage. I wanted to try it. So originally I just got one piece of everything and I got it and I loved it so much. I knew I had to get all of it. Um, I don't love the marker by the ink pad. It was something I really thought I would dislike more actually, but it's starting to grow on me a little bit. Um, I felt like it might stick out too much from the ink pad. Like it might make me feel weird about where the ink pad is and where the marker is but it's not too bad. And I do like that you can fit two markers. Um, if you take this out, it has, it can slide cause there's nothing there holding it. Um, but the ink pad just goes right back on there. I have a couple duplicate markers from different things that I've purchased or different ways things have, um, come in packages. And so it's nice that two will fit there. So what I ended up doing is putting my blends right next to my ink pads. And again, I like the way things um, are uneven and there's different heights to different things, but you don't have to have it that way. I ordered a couple extra tops to keep on hand so that I can um, change things around if I need to change things around, like the configuration of things. It's always good to have a couple different tops um, on hand. So these are really sturdy. There's the tops and then there's the unit itself. There is um, little feet that come on the end of them. And these little feet are really important to put on. Once you put the little feet, the little rubber feet on the bottoms of these, they're not going to move. Um, when I originally put this up, it was over a tiny bit too much, like I'm talking like a 16th of an inch um, and I needed to slide everything down and it was a nightmare to slide everything down because they do not budge. But the great thing is, is that when you're pulling these out, you're not jamming up the unit itself. Like things aren't catching on it. You can really slide these in and out really easily, which I like. And then you can also see that I have some things set on the top. And as long as you put those little rubber feet on correctly, there's a thicker piece and then there's a thinner piece. The thicker piece are meant for the back of the unit and the thinner pieces are meant for the front. And once you put those on, you can see that the units themselves are really even. So that's really nice. And you can see that where my shelves meet right here, um, my unit is in between 
uh, or the the um, meeting of the shelves is in between and it's perfect like it's not it doesn't end up being weird at all because the, the sturdiness of the storage is amazing so then I of course have my lights where my camera goes so I have some filming um, items up there and then I have some awards that I've gotten with stampin up they're just these clear blocks it's a little hard to tell on camera here and then they are um, engraved with a few things and then on this side I have my whisper white paper I just cut up a bunch of this and I don't know if this will stay here or not that might get moved somewhere else. Um, I just like to have Whisper White Paper on hand that I can die cut or stamp if I need to. And then right here on the very end, I have a Stampin' Up! speaker. I got that um, with, it was an, a, a pillow gift when I went to, well, I didn't go to Alaska, but when I earned the Alaska trip, we had to cancel at the last minute. But I still got all my pillow gifts, and it's a um, speaker, and so it's a um, Bluetooth speaker. And then I have a photo of my husband and I when we were dating on there, and then I just have a cute little turtle. So here, I'll really quickly go through my drawers, just they're an essential part of my work area. Here in the first drawer, I have clear blocks, my wipes, and then this is just some miscellaneous tools, a sanding block, um, wire snips, a lighter for my candles, extra staples for my mini stapler, some extra scissors. In this bottom drawer here, this next drawer, is all adhesive and this bin right here is all my backup adhesive but I have all my adhesive right here the next drawer down is coloring so I have my um, sponge daubers my sponges my clean um, zig markers watercolor um, these are old they're watercolor crayons from Stampin' Up! years ago watercolors um, these are the older Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils that we don't sell anymore. Just coloring items. The next drawer is pretty packaging. So just a few items that I can grab from for pretty packaging. This is re-inkers and those are extra blends. Those are my retired ink pads. Just some of those items that I don't necessarily need. On the other side of me is my ribbon drawer. And it goes all the way back. I just slide this ribbon out when I need ribbon back here. And I keep ribbon even if it retires if we have the color. So like this ribbon right here is retired. It's Knight of Navy, but we still have that color. So I keep the ribbon. And then there's a few ribbons up here that I'm working through that are not Stampin' Up! But for the most part, that's my Stampin' Up! ribbon. And I'll show you guys a little secret shame I have way back in this corner. Oh, my heat tool is right here on the side of my desk. And then right down there is a whole bin of retired Stampin' Up! ribbon because I have a little bit of a problem with ribbon. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Then I have an embellishment drawer here. So this is current and retired embellishments. And then I have my twine here. So these are just containers and I pull them out. And they're different embellishments, buttons. Um, like I said, some of the, most of them, I would probably say most of them are retired actually. The next drawer is washi tape and sequence. So this is my sequence, the way I store it. Oh, whoops, that lid wasn't on. Oh, there's the lid. See, I didn't put it back. I'll grab that in a minute. So, so sequence, this is stickles. And then the next drawer is all my embossing. So heat embossing items are right here. They're in these little containers. And then this one is a messy drawer. It's extra tools. Oh, and I can't even, oh, there it goes. It's my hot glue gun, uh, my little hammer set for eyelids. Um, that kind of thing. So up here on top of my desk, I have all my Stampin' Up! bling. So this is like glitter enamel dots, rhinestones, um, these enamel dots. So it's all 
Stampin' Up! related. And then here are current punches right here and right here. My husband built me this shelf years ago. I always say it's the easiest shelf you could ever build. It's literally whatever boards those are, whatever you call them, 2x4s, 6x9s, 8x12s, whatever they are. I, I'm not a boy. I don't know what what the wood is called. But the they're just those boards literally screwed together. The only thing he had to cut were these pieces to go in between to make the cubbies. But he did this years ago, like before people made stuff for... Um, storage. So these are all current punches. Then I have some floss here like that. Um, it's not linen, but it's like for embroidery. I have it in a glass drawer. The lighting's going to get weird over here, you guys. I feel like it's very, very orange because I don't have proper lighting over here. I have my um, Nouveau drops here. So that's what these are. Nouveau drops. They're all down there. I have Bic and Sharpie markers. I have Copics and Sharpies here. And then in here are my Stampin' Spots from Paper Pumpkin Kits. And then here are punches that are retired but that I use for Project Life. So starting kind of right here and going down, you start getting into my stuff that I use for Project Life. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this desk tour. Um, I love the way the storage turned out and I love being able to sit here and have access to all the things that I need to have access to to create and to film. That's the most important thing that I do right in this area. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and make sure you head to my website tomorrow because I have a very special and exciting announcement and I can't wait to share with you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday and I will talk to you later. Hanging out with me today and watching my videos. Here are two other of my most recent videos. I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will catch you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.